This episode of Cities and Streets is underwritten by Yet Unknown Publishing, home of Camden's signature movies and events. Find us on Facebook. Hi, I'm Camden. Welcome to the program. Thanks so much for tuning us in, dialing us up, and logging us on. Now don't get us confused with those other travel programs. We're not going to give you any cooking tips. We're not going to take you into the lobbies of any grand hotels. And we're not going to quiz you on any of this historical stuff. We're just going to show you some of the sites, okay? Let's go. We enjoyed a warm summer day when my family and I arrived in Cambridge. We took the train from Peterborough past Ely to Cambridge. As we moved along the countryside, we saw the dark, fertile earth of the fens in expansive fields on either side of the train.
though it is a college town, Cambridge is very busy with people of all ages.
Walking through Cambridge is easy and pedestrian friendly. The city is more grid-like than other cities in England. The colleges and the open-air market are close to the city center. Of course, punting along the Cam River is the preferred way to take in the sun on a lazy day. Oh, 
one. It's not true because that is a law of public science. Uh, but it's true that over the years, certainly public science.
she pays for. It's not a selling point. <laughs> it is if you want. Is it? Yeah. Ahead of us we have Vikings inhabited Cambridge about the same time that they were in Whitby in Yorkshire. However, tribes from Western Europe lived in Cambridge during the Iron Age. Travel is easy from Cambridge via trains to the north and the south of England. Hi, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the visit as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. These locations are true treasures, and I hope you get to see them for yourself one day. Until then, travel safely.